Hello everyone, Richard Ash, Folkcraft Instruments. Today's dulcimer demonstration is of a Folkcraft Custom Series Base Mountain Dulcimer, serial number 9072875. This instrument has a 27 inch vibrating string length, so from nut to bridge, it's 27 inches, ideal for pretty much anyone's hands, unless they're very, very small, very, very delicate hands. This will fit pretty much anyone. The instrument is our larger body. It's got a purple heart back. Purple heart is very dense and usually not a great sounding wood. But in this case, it's working real nice because we've got the huge massive strings of the base dulcimer. So we've got a beautiful piece of purple heart with a nice hickory inlay, inlay down the middle of it. Have a hickory sides, hickory back, hickory fretboard, and then purple heart on the fretboard to match. We have our contemporary head set up with three tuners instead of the usual four. So we have three tuners, stripe of purple heart, purple heart, purple heart heel cap, which of course is strictly decoration, and then the, pur then the purple back with the contrasting hickory stripe. Kind of a neat instrument. I'm not usually a big fan of purple heart, excuse me, of purple heart for tone wood or of hickory for tone wood on the bigger instruments. On this instrument though, it works really, really well. Uh, Bass dulcimer, of course, set up DAD. We use the new roller wound strings in the heavy gauges. Just got those in a few weeks ago, and they are amazing. Uh, three string setup for a bass dulcimer and even a baritone. The four string setup, I think, just gets muddy. And for a strummer, the, bar the baritones and the basses get, get, get muddy fast. The three string setup makes more sense as far as reducing the mud and the clutter that you get. The roller wound strings on all three strings help that as well. So just to give you an idea of what an instrument sounds like, I'll play you a picking tune. I'll do some Shenandoah like you've heard a thousand times. And I'll do a little bit of Wildwood Flower, but when I do the Wildwood Flower, I probably won't strum all the strings on a, on a consistent basis through the song. I'll probably strum a couple of the strings and then add the third one for emphasis here and there which is what I would do if I was to play this as a solo instrument. Anyway, some Shenandoah to start with. <laughs> 